Good day world and welcome back to Stuff We Do, where we do all the knife stuff you love. Knife reviews, knife tests, knife modifications and outdoor stuff with knives. Okay, I got a knife. I bought this one from Take A Lot, but I see the actual seller is something like, something in velocity. Oh, what, guns and velocity? I don't know. Anyway, something in velocity. But you can find this on Take A Lot. Now, when I saw this thing... I immediately wanted it, but I didn't buy it for a very long time. But I'm glad I did. This is the Rough Rider Copper. Okay, and then we have this beautiful magnetic box. Let's see what it says over here. Rough Rider. For more great products, go to Rough Rider Knives. Always high quality handmade pocket knives. And then we have a warning about something, and it's made in China. Okay, so the Rough Rider Copper. Um, okay, I did take this thing out, and I did play with it for a while. So, yeah, no surprise. Ta-da! It's a Hawk Bull. I have another Hawk Bull. I really, really like these Hawk Bulls. Let me just show you this. Rough Rider Copper Bulls, their Hawk Bull Knife RR1587. Please remember that number, because it's too small for me to see on the tang. Let's put that over there. And then look at this thing. This is black bone. And this is a beautiful black bone. You can see some lighter spots, some darker spots. Beautiful. Over there we have the 440 razor sharp steel. And we have these beautiful copper bolsters. Okay, now like I said, I did carry this a bit. They were a bit more shiny when I got them. Okay, we also have copper inlay. Which is Rough Rider. Do you see the bone? It's a beautiful bone. Okay, every single copper pin they have in here is flush. We have a beautiful lanyard all at the back. No transitions, you can feel. Look at the back. We have a bit of a gap here at the bottom, but nothing to worry about. Beautiful. You see the little gap over there? And then it's got the stainless steel backspacer, and even the liners are copper. Okay, and then we have this beautiful black stone washed blade or black washed blade. Rough Rider. There, we have the Rough Rider. Do you see the scratches on the black? That's from the knife itself. That was not me. I did not do anything to it yet. There we have the number and made in China. Okay, now I really love these Hawkbill knives. They are fantastic for everything except for cutting on a board. And if you want to use it as a, what do you call that, utility knife, that works beautiful. Opening packages is wonderful. Cutting boltong or anything in this grip is fantastic. Look at this. The handle is made to be used that way or that way. It feels great in both directions. Because we have this little bit over there. If it closes, you are saving yourself. We have a beautiful switch over here. This is a super, super nice. I like Rough Rider Hawk Bulls. Um, oh, I don't have the other ones. I'll show you. Maybe tomorrow we'll make another video about Hawk Bulls. Um, we have this nail nick long pull, match strike long pull, because we have that ridges in there. So if you have strike anywhere matches, you can use that. We have a beautiful switch over here. And I just love this black wash they do on this thing. Look at that. That's marvelous. And then with the copper and this beautiful bone, beautiful smooth bone, this thing is fantastic. Okay, the pull on this guy, we have a half stop, is pretty weak. But it might not actually be that weak. It might be like a three, a four. Let's say it's a four on this guy. But because you have so much to take, it's quite easy to open it. And that does not bother me, because I actually like that. No mushy back spring. This is truly a wonderful knife. Okay, so there we have my Rough Rider Hawk Bull. I'll give you specs and things and wait tomorrow. But for today, that's my quick little, well, unboxing, I suppose, for a Friday. Stay safe, happy, and have a good one. Goodbye. Okay, it's Friday afternoon. I have a bag of Bush Baby Brywood, apparently circle balls. Um, we just opened one of these and it's time to start the braai. Okay, sorry, of course I opened everything with my um, wonderful hawk ball. This thing works 
Oh, you can't really see me. This thing works fantastic for slicing anything in any direction. It's wonderful. Okay. Um, well, I can't really show you what it looks like in the pocket because it's in my pocket, but yes. Okay, we are doing pregos again and then two for the kids without anything and then this stuff. This is lamp and wheels and it's on a stick and everybody knows things on sticks taste better. Okay, first turn. Kids, well, I need to throw some spice or something on here and then it's done. Okay, so while the kids stuff... Um, well, that's busy. And just three of these little guys from their confinement. Okay, and then I can put on my lamp and wheels. Okay, so this is the pregos that I'm going to eat with my lamp and wheels. Oh, delicious. This is the spare prego sauce. I love this stuff. These ones are fine, so they're ready to go to a prego. Okay, and these guys are very close to being awesome because it's lamb. 